music theory lesson is about awareness. Okay, like any good music theory lesson, it's not just about now I am the one to the far six minor, two down, three down, and the six minor. None of that stuff matters unless you hear it and you're able to apply it to your life, okay? Are you ready to unleash the hi hat pattern within you? Okay, we're on a game with destiny tonight, and I feel like you guys need to raise your awareness. <laughs> So hi hat patterns, okay? So this hi hat pattern that you're hearing right now is my favorite hi hat pattern between the levels of 118 and 145 BPM. Okay? Now this hi hat pattern is often known as the Teen Town hi hat pattern because it's from a song called Teen Town by the 1970s called Weather Report. Okay? Now Weather Report is a guy who's 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 a writer of this tune, Teen Town. Not only did he compose this tune, he's the bass player, of course, on it, but he also happened to play the drums on this song, okay? And an interesting thing about playing the drums on this song is that he didn't just do the drums in one pass. He did the cymbals in one pass, he did the drums in another pass, okay? If you listen back, you can kind of hear some unique things that happen. Now, why does it matter? Why am I teaching you about hi-hat patterns? Again, it's about awareness. Okay? You hear this hi-hat pattern every day on Lightning 100, and you don't bat an eye. Okay? So what I want to do is raise your awareness so you have a, a heightened sense. We have too many chops. Okay? Here in Nashville about 15 years ago, respect for the chops went to uh, an all-time low. Okay? Respect for the chops, gone in Nashville. That's okay. We're in a different era. Okay? So what we're going to do... Since Pitar has more chops than any of us on this stage combined, we're going to burn out his chops so he can focus on the art. Okay? Sometimes chops gets in the way of our art. Now chops, see, okay, here's what I forget. It's a music city. Now we in the biz, chops is just what we call somebody who has a technical proficiency to play very fast and accurate. Okay? Now again, it's really just a vanity metric of a BPM setting where you can play 16 notes, 30 second notes. It doesn't necessarily mean you're good or bad. Some people have lots of chops, very high art, very low art in some cases. Some people have no chops and they're insanely incredible as an artist. Sometimes people know chops, no art, and that's a bummer. Okay? But what we're gonna do <laughs> Okay, but we're going to burn these chops out in the second quarter here, so that way we can focus the rest of this game on high art for you guys. I think that's only the right thing to do for those of you who have come and paid a, a cover, or bought a ticket. Yes. So, joke's on me though, because we have to keep up with it. Alright, here we're going to hit it. Let's see how fast. you got to cheer them out, okay? One, two, three.